what is up you guys in today's video you guys we are tackling this closet and we are cleaning it out and getting rid of all of this stuff you guys this closet clean out is a must it is so bad in here i literally can't even get to my clothes i cannot operate in this closet at all my poor husband cannot get to his clothes and it's mostly loaded down with all of my stuff so we are going to jump in here and get this done so let's go so hopefully you are getting some motivation today to help clean out your closet as well. So I'm just gonna basically walk you through the process here. So basically all I'm doing is I'm separating out my clothes. So I'm doing dresses, long sleeve shirts, sweaters on one side. If I have tank tops, I'm gonna do a pile for those. Pants will end up going in a pile. So I'm basically just taking everything out of my closet and organizing it into piles, which is what I do. This is literally my organizational tip it's like one of the biggest tips that I can give you is to organize into piles so get your categories figure out what you want to do as far as categories go and organize into those categories it's gonna save you so much time so in order to get to the back of this closet I've got to get all the stuff out of the bottom of the closet so I'm taking the safe out of here my husband is gonna put that somewhere else so I can get to everything else Okay, so that was a little dramatic, but it was heavy, okay. Okay guys, so if you're wondering where I got my cleaning motivation to do my closet, I actually was watching my good friend Sarah Soares. She is amazing, she has an amazing channel and she did a clean out video, closet clean out video and I was like, uh, yeah, I totally need to dust in here. <laughs> so that's where all this motivation came from. So go check out her channel because it's awesome. And honestly, looking at her closet and then looking at mine, I'm like, I need to paint. Okay, so next, I'm gonna start putting all of this stuff back in on the bottom because you know how tiny my house is, okay? If you watch my channel, you know I have a tiny house and so I have to conserve space. So I'm doing one section at a time. So I'm doing this in sections. Um, so now I can reach the back of the closet. So now once I get all this in there, I'm gonna start pulling those clothes out and start going through them. I need to get rid of stuff and I need to stop holding on to all of this junk. And not only that, but all my winter stuff is still in here and it's taking up all of the space. So let's get it out. So I am leaving just a few things, like all my dresses and stuff, like dresses and jumpers and things like that, that I know that I'm gonna keep all of that. So I'm pushing it back. But I'm going through all of those sweaters, all of my tank tops, all of that stuff, and getting rid of the majority of, well, not the majority, but you know, I'm going to go through <laughs> and I'm going to get rid of. And I honestly, by the end of this, I didn't show the pile, which I'm kind of like, why didn't I show the pile? But there was actually quite a bit that I did end up getting rid of. So I was super proud of myself. So if you are like me and you like to hold on to absolutely everything, let me tell you, okay, like one thing is, is if you have a piece of clothing that you've had in your closet for a really long time and you think it's just really cute, but you just have never wore it or you never liked the way that it really looked on you or whatever, but you're still holding on to it thinking that one day you're going to want to wear it, get rid of it, get rid of it because that is me <laughs> all day long. Um, and I have had stuff like this in my closet forever and still have not wore it. So during this time right here, I am absolutely doing that and making piles and getting rid of the things that I do not need because I have not worn it and it's just sitting there. Let somebody who's going to wear it have it. So I have managed to go through everything that I'm going to keep and I'm going to start putting everything back in here and start putting this closet back together. I am, I'm actually like really shocked at how quickly this 
got put together. It didn't take me too long at all. Obviously, it took longer than this video has been, but it went pretty quickly, and I'm really happy with the end result. I'm actually sitting here looking at my closet right now as I'm doing this voiceover, and it looks so much better than it did. So my advice to you is if you are looking at a task that looks pretty daunting, just go ahead and just jump in. You know, if you don't get it done as quickly as maybe you feel like that you're going to get it done, even just getting started is the best step that you could possibly take. So hopefully you are able to get a little bit done and do it in sections, you know, create those organized piles and do it in sections and just do what you can do. And eventually it's going to get completed. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. I hope that you guys got so much cleaning motivation out of it, even though it was a short one. And I hope that you guys have subscribed to this channel. If you have not, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There are so many amazing cleaning motivations uh, videos on this channel that you can check out. And if you haven't left me a comment, leave me a comment in the comment section and we'll see you on the next one.